and welcome to the City of Doral National Day of Prayer Ceremony. It is my honor to welcome our esteemed guests and community members. As the mayor of the City of Doral, I believe that coming together to pray is a powerful expression of our shared faith and commitment to our community. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the importance of prayer in our lives. It strengthens our connection with God, provides comfort and guidance during challenging times, and enables us to work towards a better future for ourselves, our families, and our fellow neighbors. Today, we gather to pray for healing and unity in our nation, protection for our communities, and strength to overcome any adversity we may face. As we lift our voices together in prayer, let us be reminded of the power that each of us has to make a difference. I want to extend my gratitude to all those who have organized this special event, our faith leaders, our faith-based advisory board members, our incredible city staff, our manager, Barbie Hernandez, our deputy city manager, Frank Rios, our public affairs team, Maggie Santos, as well as Aaron Sullivan and our parks team. I also want to appreciate everyone who has made the time to partic participate in today's prayers and the following reception we will have that will exhibit incredible art by Veronica Cruz Luna, which I promise will not disappoint, but more on that later. As I close, we welcome and we welcome the prayers for our community. I leave you with this. Our nation, our world, is facing some of the most difficult and challenging of times. I can tell you, as a parent, I worry immensely about the world that my son will face. What are we building and leaving behind for him and the generations that follow us? It is our responsibility to be the difference. And so, in the face of darkness, I look for hope, hope and prayer, hope in that our youth and our nation is guided to turn back to God, to faith, because without faith, without prayer, we are hopeless. And it is so that my prayer today, that we continue to focus on putting God first, and that through God, we continue to work together to build a stronger, more unified community that is grounded in faith, hope, and love. Thank you. God bless you, your families, the United States of America,